Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, and this is Rudy's Rant, where we talk facts over feelings. Bronny James, Bronny James, Bronny James, Bronny James, the circus that is Bronny James with his stint with the Los Angeles Lakers, and now he is in the G League, I guess, for a second. But before we jump in, thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. We greatly appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Become a member as we are going to be popping off membership lives every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Tuesday night going forward, I'm going to be doing a member live at 9 p.m. So if you haven't become a member yet, please become a member. Join the party. We're going to shoot the shit. Have a good time. Chat it up. Bring all your questions, etc. Let's jump in on the topic here. Ronnie James, we all know that his draft <laughs> situation was one of, as I've called it before, extortion by LeBron James over the Lakers' head. It's nothing more than what it was. It was a th- if I you don't draft my son, I'm gonna leave. That's what it was. And now surprisingly he went to the g league i i was actually surprised about that i never thought that would happen and it did and as i expected when it did he sucked there too he's played one g league game 31 minutes 22.2 percent shooting two of nine from the field six points oh of four from three Three turnover. I mean, sorry, three rebounds, four assists, five turnovers, two steals, one block. He is the same guy that I that I said before is not good enough to be in even the G League, and he's not. That's an example. He's not good. He's just not good. But that's where he, if he's going to be in the NBA. That's where he belongs. And he belongs there for a while, not a back and forth situation, which has been talked about. <clears throat> I, LeBron James, the Los Angeles Lakers, JJ Redick, they are destroying and making a mockery of the NBA and destroy, well, making a mockery of the NBA, but destroying any legitimacy to the career in basketball of Bronny James. How you can view it any other way is absolutely crazy. So now he's played in one game, but apparently it's now been reported that Bronny James will not play in road games for the G League. So let's get this straight. He'll play at home, but he won't play in road games. The the G League team for the Los Angeles Lakers, and it's the South Bay Lakers. It's located in El Segundo, which is in L.A. What does that mean? That means that Bronny gets to continue to live in his daddy's house, not be an adult, continue to be a child, and never grow up. You wanted to play professional basketball. Part of playing professional basketball is Growing the fuck up. Moving out of your dad's house. It's not like you don't have the money. You had a ton of NIL money from last year. You got, you're getting $2 million a year to not play for the Lakers. And yet, you live in dad's house. You have dad's chefs. You have dad's cooks. You have dad's maids, housekeepers, whatever. Dad's pool. 
They make your bed. They clean your room. They cook your food. They shop for you. And for most 19-year-olds, that's fine. 20, I don't think he's 19 or 20 now. Most 19, 20-year-olds, that's fine. Because most 19, 20-year-olds are making $2 million a year in basketball money. Not to mention all the NIL money he made in his one year at USC and the money he makes um, playing video games, because I know he's big on that video game stuff. I know this because my sons are into that stuff. So this guy's got money to live like an adult and become an adult. No, instead, let's have him live at home, play home games for the South Bay Lakers, and then move back and forth to the, to the, to the Los Angeles Lakers, go sit on the bench now and again while he's still nowhere near good enough to even command, command a spot on this team. But he won't travel to road games. That is the the newest report. He will not travel to road games. How do you develop if you're not playing? How do you develop if you're not working? How do you develop if you're only going to play in those home games? What they've done is cringe-like. It, it is cringe, period. And at some point, Bronny needs to man the fuck up and say, no, you're not going to tell me how my career is going to go. I'm going to dictate the terms of my career. And right now, he's not a man. He's a kid. Or he's an adult in age, but he's acting like a kid. Yes, he is going to get criticized. He's making $2 million a year. And he's not good. And the opportunity to become better and play with the South Bay Lakers G League team would be to play with them all the time, not once in a while. He benefits zero on the Lakers roster, nothing. They benefit zero from him being on the roster. He's not good. This is an article from Outkick. It's not his fault by any means, given he can't help who his dad is. But Bronny has been the poster child of special treatment since the moment he was drafted. But now the Lakers are taking things way too far. I would say that he's allowing them to take things way too far. He's appeared in six of the Lakers. He's 20 years old, not 19, so my mistake. He's appeared in six of the Lakers' 10 games so far this, this season, but was sent to the G League this past weekend and made his debut with the South Bay Lakers, where he saw 31 minutes of action, and he was terrible. He needs minutes to develop. According to Brian Windhorse, who might be going to, he might get himself in, Brian Windhorse might get himself in trouble with the inner circle of LeBron James. He will not jump on commercial flights to get to and from South Bay home games and wherever the Lakers may be on the road at the time. From my understanding, he's only going to play in the South Bay Lakers home games. That he's only going to be kind of be a part-time G League player. And he's not getting on United Airlines and going to fly and go see these other teams play in these road games, win or set. Honestly, I know he was getting somewhat special treatment and nepotism. That's fine. I don't care. It's normal. Now I think it's actually detrimental to him. I don't like that. I don't know whose idea it was. Obviously, the Lakers are fine with it. They're doing it. On this particular instance, I think that it's gone too far. And I don't think it benefits Bronny. I don't think it benefits the South Bay Lakers, and I don't think it benefits LeBron at this point. I don't understand what it has to do with LeBron. I don't. I don't get the benefit. Bronny playing for the Lakers didn't benefit LeBron. It doesn't benefit the Lakers winning games. 
to, to not play in road games so he can sit on the Lakers bench and watch does absolutely nothing for this young man's career or any future he has playing basketball. There's there's article after article on this. It's utterly embarrassing. It's embarrassing. At what point? At what point do we do people stop and say like, this is a joke? This is a joke. This is such a joke that you had to think this couldn't be real. But how the hell do you get better watching from the sideline and never playing? So you're only going to play in home games. You're not going to travel. You're not going to get used to being having crowds come at you, even though. And and for his sake, because of who he is, when the South Bay Lakers would play on the road, they would likely have much bigger crowds to watch their G League games than the normal G League team. So it would be natural to go on those road games and have fans screaming at you, cussing at you, you know, trying to distract you and all that stuff. <clears throat> I, I don't see how you're going to get better. I, I, I'm, I'm just reading these different articles as I'm, as I'm talking about this. It's just it's absolutely crazy. Like when he goes on, when they go on a road game, like what does he do? Goes to the gym. The Lakers aren't playing. What does he do? He goes to the gym. He works out. He watches TV. Uh, I mean, when the Lakers are at home if, when, and the G League team's on the road, will they have him come sit on the bench? How does that help him get better? This is ridiculous. This circus gets more and more ridiculous. By the day. And there are people who are just will sit here and say, oh, LeBron earned this op, op, option, opportunity to do whatever he wants. But is this about LeBron now or is this about having a player that you drafted actually become decent? That's the question that we have at this point. What, what is the ultimate goal now? What is the goal? The Lakers have now won three straight games. They were four and four after eight, and they've won three straight. It happens to be they played the Sixers, who are still playing without Joel Embiid. Paul George is an absolute shell of what he was. He's not very good. They're starting Kyle Lowry, who's 100. He's 38. Andre Drummond is their starting center. Caleb Martin is their starting small forward. This Sixers team is atrocious. They're 1-7. in seven. Or are they 1-8 in eight now? They might be worse now. So they're 2-9 now. They were 1-7 in seven when they lost to the Lakers. The Lakers then beat the Raptors. The Raptors are awful. The Raptors are playing without um, Scotty Barnes. And then you just beat yesterday Memphis, who was playing without John Moran. So they're getting team after team. Missing players. The Lakers are seven and four now. How does Bronny James make the Lakers better? He doesn't. He doesn't. It looks like yesterday he was on the Lakers bench, from what I'm seeing here. He was a DMP coach's decision. <clears throat> What's the point? What is the point anymore of this? You got your dream. He played with you. What else is there? I, I, I mean, I don't know what the goal is anymore for this for this franchise. I don't understand what the goal is for LeBron. You, 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 your dream was to play with your son. You've gotten that opportunity. You've done it. 
is now it wouldn't the dream be now for him to become a naturally good basketball player because your comments about him being better than half these dudes on league pass and being better than his Laker teammates well he's not he he's not I'm not remotely close. Remember when I said a few weeks ago that Cam Reddish didn't play because and LeBron and Bronny James did? Cam Reddish is a starter now for the Lakers. Starter. So he had a DMP coach's decision behind Bronny beginning of the year. It, it, it just it makes no sense anymore, it, and it's it's aggravating as a, as a basketball fan. It's aggravating to see guys that don't have opportunities and watch this circus show continue. This is a joke. It's always been a joke, and people can sit here and say, "Oh yeah, it's great," but no, it's not. It's horrible. It's, this is horrible for basketball. It's horrible for the league, and it's going to absolutely cripple and destroy this young man's career and any opportunity to become a better basketball player because he's just not good and he'll never get good playing never become serviceable playing for the lakers the only way he'll ever be a serviceable basketball player because that's the best he'll ever be all this shit about three and d get the fuck he's six one he's six one he's not a three and d player he can't shoot and he doesn't defend He's not good. He needs he needs repetition. He needs minutes. He needs game action. But no, 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 no. Let's not have him play on the G League for the G League on the road. Let's not make the G League his home and let him get real games consistently. But hey, what do I know? I don't know shit. I've just watched basketball my entire life, and I know that this is a circus and an absolute flipping disaster. And if it wasn't for the fact the Lakers are getting every team they play, minus major contributors, starters, stars, their 7-4 and four record right now might be worse. Probably would be worse. But they've had a benefit of a, a schedule minus team's best players. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of this Bronny James circle of circus of nonsense with not playing road games? Is it that he doesn't like flying in a regular commercial jet? Is it that he's gotten so used to flying private charters with his dad that the idea of him flying coach? Because the G League players are flying coach. Them dudes ain't flying, flying first class. Those dudes, are, those dudes are flying coach. I'm guessing they are. They're flying coach. I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Love to hear what you guys say. This is Rudy's Rant, Facts Over Feelings. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, pound that like button. Become a member. Membership Live starting next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Jump on over to Rudy's Rant and subscribe there as well. Appreciate y'all. Come on now.